Hello and welcome to another review on Anime Every Day. In this video, I'll be reviewing the anime series Gurren Lagann. Gurren Lagann is probably the most ridiculous, over-the-top mecha series out there. Filled with an endless amount of goofy, logic-defying moments, this show is by no means to be taken seriously. Is this just a goofy, overrated mecha show for kids, or is it something more? Welcome to my review of everybody's favourite mecha anime, Gurren Lagann. Gurren Lagann takes place in a futuristic world ruled by the Spiral King. Humans have been enslaved and sent underground to work as miners. The humans are powerless to their rulers and have accepted their lives as slaves. But one day, the protagonists Kamina and Simone decide that they don't want to spend their lives underground, and start their journey to the surface. We follow them as they build a team of friends and push the limits of their abilities further and further. The story of Gurren Lagann is split up into two completely different arcs. The first arc is fine, and in my opinion, what Gurren Lagann should be remembered for. The story was simple, the characters didn't have that much depth but were enjoyable to watch, and there were some enjoyable mini storylines that were again, simple but also enjoyable. If Gurren Lagann had ended here, I would have been content. But with the start of the second arc at episode 16, we're introduced to a number of flaws. This arc takes place seven years after the first arc and there's a very noticeable change in how the anime feels. Also, we're in a completely different setting. Obviously, they couldn't have jumped seven years forward without changing anything, but some of the changes were really unnecessary and I felt they could have pulled off a lot better. Probably the most noticeable change is that there's a much bigger focus on romance. I'm sorry, but this romance was really stupid and poorly written. The writers try to bring some seriousness to the series with the romance, but it really just pushed the show even further away from being considered serious. After seven years of being in a relationship, the characters acted as if they'd just started dating, a stage that romance anime normally pass after a few weeks at most. But like I said at the start, are we really meant to take this story seriously? Or should we just ignore looking at it critically and just accept that it doesn't really make much sense? It is, after all, a show based around the progressive action. Overall, the story wasn't bad, it just depends on how you look at it. If you just accept that it's a bit silly and put that to the side, then it's a very enjoyable story that opens a lot of doors for cool action scenes and interesting characters. But if you look at Gurren Lagann through a critical eye and compare it to more serious mecha shows, then it won't take you long to find flaws after flaws after flaws. The three main characters, Kami, Simone, and Yoko, are three of the most recognisable characters in all of anime. All for different reasons, but recognisable nonetheless. Simone and Kamina have a lot of very obvious links. As the show goes on, we see Simone almost grow into Kamina, an aspect of character development that I really like. I love the references they made to Kamina throughout the whole story. They never forgot about him, but he always stayed a very important character, even though he was... unavailable for a lot of the story. Yoko is a fan favourite, and you can probably tell why after one look. But she does have a personality. Kinda. I find that when we watch a character like Yoko, it's very easy to ignore them as a character and just focus on how they look. But if you manage to see past her fan service moments, of which there are many, she does seem like an okay character. But unfortunately, you can't ignore her looks. For every well written Yoko moment, there are four unnecessary ass shots that you just can't overlook. Metaphorically and literally, there is a huge list of supporting characters. I was really impressed at how they managed to make each character seem relatively important throughout the whole story. The main flaw with these characters is that there's so many of them that there's no time to develop all of them. The majority stay static the whole series because there just isn't enough time to develop so many characters in a 27 episode series. That being said, I did feel engaged to a lot of the characters and I actually cared about what was going to happen to a lot of them which is more than I can say for a lot of big cast shows. The animation is by far the most praised aspect of Gurren Lagann. Gainax were the studio behind the animation and they definitely made it stand out from other anime. They made sure the world of Gurren Lagann was filled with bright colours and beautiful visual effects. And although the animation does look a bit low budget and stupid at parts, the majority is really well animated and has created one of the most recognisable anime art styles. The animation really added to the quirky story and built a very immersive world for the story to be set in. When you make the decision to create something that isn't similar to everything else, you immediately secure a number of people who aren't going to like that something. 
That's what they created with Gurren Lagann. Fortunately, it paid off really well as the amount of people who liked the art style tremendously outnumbered the people who didn't. It was a very refreshing experience from your normal animation. And of course, the animation really stood out where it needed to, in the action scenes. They animated everything from the mechs to the giant laser beams very well, and it really leaves a lasting impression. The little drops in animation are far from flaws, so the animation is easily the best part of the show. The soundtrack was by no means comparable to the animation, but it was still good. It helped with immersing you into the show and really added to the quirkiness at points. There's a lot of upbeat tracks that will really get you fired up for some great action scenes, but there's also a lot of really great atmospheric tracks that really engage you with the show and the characters. I can't talk about the soundtrack without addressing the track with the rap vocals in it. I'm a huge hip hop fan, but this really didn't do anything for me. There's a lot of great hip hop tracks in anime, but this wasn't one of them. It sounded a bit out of place and didn't really fit in with the rest of the soundtrack. So the final question, is Gurren Lagann a good show? Yes. Overall it was a very high quality show, the visuals were great, the characters were also enjoyable and the story, despite its flaws, was still okay. It's by no means a masterpiece but it's still a great show and I would recommend anyone who likes fast paced action shows to watch it. Just don't go into this show expecting a really serious story. Go in expecting a light hearted mecha show with a good mixture of action and comedy. Thank you very much for watching my review. If you want to help me out, you can click the like button and or the share button. And if you want to watch more of my reviews, you can click the subscribe button or any of the links on the screen. Thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next review.